Among Us was a game that took the streaming world by storm two years ago. So, when Among Us VR was announced, I was very excited. And after playing it, Among Us VR has made me realize how much fun VR multiplayer can be. Oh, green! Green just murdered Grey right in front of us. I swear, it's not me. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of feel like Among Us was meant to be a VR title. Now, this may be a little bit controversial, but in a lot of ways, I actually consider the VR version of Among Us to be better than the original. And I'll explain why in this video. Let's start with the similarities between the VR version and the non-VR version. The map is exactly the same as in the normal game, with the obvious difference being that you get to actually walk around and experience the map in first person. But what are the changes that, in my opinion, make the game better? The first and probably the most important change is that voice chat is now an integral part of the game. When a man steps out of the door, gets shot at you, they gotta be! No! I am the one who knocks. This man's doing some roleplay. They've done this by adding proximity chat into the game, which is honestly a massive game changer. So the further you get away from a player that's talking, the quieter they get. Uh... <laughs> This leads to some quite hilarious scenarios where you'll just be doing your task and then you'll just hear someone really quietly screaming as it gets louder and louder as they run past you. It's pretty hilarious. You you lot wouldn't be any Part of the Bee Gees, that's all. <laughs> but what if you don't like talking? Or maybe you're just a bit shy or your mic doesn't work? Well, Among Us VR has you covered for that as well. Because now you have hands that other players can see in the pre-game lobby, as well as during crew meetings. You got fast hands. Whoa! Whoa! Do you have fast hands, Blue? Hey, helicopter! Whoa! You can do free things with your hands. You can wave, you can put thumbs up, and you can point, which I gotta hand it to the developers is really smart. With only three gestures, you can communicate and play with people. Want to accuse someone? You point at them. Is someone accusing you of being the imposter? Shake your hands. No. no. <laughs> oh, it's me? It's me. Okay. It's given people the option to not have to speak, which I really appreciate. And for the players that do use voice chat, it just makes your characters a bit more emotive. So it's a win-win for everyone. Did you do that by accident? Like, it seemed like it was an accident. <laughs> yeah. Now let's talk briefly about the tasks. They're all very simple and easy to do, just like in the original game. Unless you're me, and you can't figure out how to do half of them. I don't understand this at all. And as far as I'm aware, they're not exactly the same, but they're similar enough. Now let's talk about some of the not-so-good stuff, and honestly, there isn't much, it's mainly just nitpicking. But for example, I really think that ghosts should be able to walk through locked doors. If I'm already dead and a ghost, I want to be able to go through the door that an imposter's just locked, so I can watch him unalive someone. Because as a ghost, that's all you can really do is just watch what they're doing and do your tasks. Another actually more pressing issue is the fact that when you go up to a task, it kind of resets your VR orientation so you're meant to be facing the task that you're doing. But more often than not, it faces me away from what I'm meant to be doing, which means I then have to spin back around to do whatever the task is and it becomes more of a problem when say for example the imposters have done the oxygen and I have 10 seconds to put in the key code but when I go up to the task it faces me the wrong way and then I have to spend you know an extra second turning around so I can input the key code so in that scenario it actually becomes more of an issue than a little nitpick but yeah and my final nitpick is actually the fact that they only have the one original map in the game when I think there's like four now in the non-VR version which in my opinion is a big shame but I'm sure they'll add more in over time Time. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. These things happen. You right there, Gray? You're just kind of standing there behind us. kind of sus, you know. It's been a long time since I played the original Among Us, but let me assure you, the VR version still hits that satisfying gameplay itch. Yeah. Good job. I've never really liked being the imposter. I find it really difficult, and I'm not a good liar. But there's something so satisfying about convincing people with the voice chat to keep you alive when you've literally just chopped up a dude in front of half of the crew. Oh, shoot. Someone's dead. Yeah, explain. I was, I was doing a task, and then I heard that knife. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. Yeah, no, I, can't, I, I was yeah, walking no, along with you, and you then I hear a noise. I turn around, and the, an orange is dead, and you're just standing there. I definitely say I'm more suited into like the crewmate role and being more of a Sherlock Holmes type's character trying to solve the murder mystery. The reactor? Uh, yep, I'm the one opposite. Okay, should we go medical and then reactor then? I follow you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, we've lost one. Wait, well, we lost one. Yeah, well, we got one. Where'd the other guy go? Uh, yeah. Fuck. And on a separate side note, this game actually made me realize there's a lot more young people that have VR than I previously thought. You're the cyan. I am the cyan. Hello, 
Zion. Hello. Not that there's anything wrong with being young, but yeah, it definitely makes me feel my age when I join a lobby and it's full of people that haven't even taken their GCSEs yet. I feel a bit bad together. Two year old off, off the ship, well. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go, boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> So, in conclusion, Among Us VR is exactly what you'd expect from the VR port of this game. It's been perfectly adapted to VR, but none of it works without the VR community and the fact that, for the most part, everyone I've been playing with in this game has been so friendly and just wants to have a fun time. Bye, Sian. I love you. Oh, bye! Give me a hug. Bye, give me a hug. <laughs> Yeah. It's been such a blast playing with people. One day I'd love to have enough people that watch these videos to set up an Among Us lobby with some viewers. That would be amazing. But yeah, that's it for this video. Sorry it's taken so long to get out. It's been a bit of a long week for me. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you that make it to the end of these videos. You're awesome. I hope you guys all had a wonderful weekend and there will be more videos coming soon. See you guys. Bye. 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 Goodbye. 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 Goodb